Morris County Tournament quarterfinal action at Montville High School, and it's hard-hitting Sammy Booth with this two-out solo blast to left, and the Mustangs have a 1-0 lead over Chatham here in the bottom of the first. Top of the second we go, and Chatham looks to answer and loads the bases, but Montville pitcher Jessica Shalongo gets the strikeout to end the uprising and the inning. Now watch Chatham play some good defense here. Watch Natalie Schroeder snag the hard liner to right, and she doubles up the runner at second base for the double play here in the bottom of the second. But with two outs, Montville puts runners on first and second after Christina Kaminsky reaches here on the error. And then watch Tammy Lake come through as her ribby single just gets through, and Montville has a 2-0 lead after two innings of play. Top of the third, and it's Montville's turn to flash the leather. Watch center fielder Kaylee Escalian come charging in to make the nice sliding catch to end the inning. All right, top of the fourth, and watch Liz Silveri turn on this pitch as it leaves the yard in a hurry, and Chatham trails 2-1 after the solo blast. But hard-hitting Montville comes right back as it's Tammy Lake lacing this two-out run-scoring single to center as Brittany Presto beats the throw home, and it's 3-1 Montville after four innings of play. Okay, Montville pitcher Jessica Salongo is rolling along. Watch her end the top of the fifth with the strikeout as it stays 3-1 Montville as we head to the bottom of the fifth. All right, and that bottom of the fifth turns into a big one for Montville after Rachel Inglesino walks. Watch Jay Turngel put a charge into this pitch with a no-doubt two-run blast to push Montville's lead to 5-1. to one. What a shot! The Mustangs weren't through, and with the bases loaded, it's Tammy Lake with another RBI hit, and she makes it 6-1, to one, and it's two outs, and the bases are still loaded with the Mustangs. All right, then up steps Sammy Booth. We saw her go yard before. Watch her go down and lift this grand slam to left, and all of a sudden, Montville has a nine-run lead, 10-1. to one. They can swing the bat, folks. All right, after a Chatham pitching change, the results are the same. Watch Megan Paterno extend her arms, and she clobbers his game-ending two-run homer to help number five Montville top number 20 Chatham 12-1 in five innings to advance to the Morris County semifinals where it faced top-seeded Butler. It was pretty awesome to come out. Um, we had a couple days off because of the weather, so we were all pumped to come back in and... Um, score early and throw strikes and get ahead of the batters. We've been waiting all year for this and we know that it's our year and we experienced it last year, went all the way to finals and we want revenge and we're coming back hard, even harder this year, especially the seniors, so we're ready. We definitely have high hopes, you know, we got to take it to Butler first, you know, they're the one seed and I'm sure they're very competitive, but, you know, we're coming together nicely, so I think it'll be a battle for sure. I was very excited with our team's performance today. Uh, I knew Chatham was going to come in here hungry to play, so we had to be on our A game today. Um, I really thought our pitcher, Jess Shalongo, did a great job keeping us in the game, keeping them off balance. Our defense made some great plays today, and then our bats really came alive.